In this module, we're going to talk about doing a restore of an entire disk to a specific folder on the drive. When I click on Restore, I have the ability to go to Advanced Mode and then choose Restore an Entire Disk. I go to Source. I choose the backup set that contains the original files. And inside that backup set, I can go ahead and choose the Dell folder. Then I go to Destination. And in this case, if I were to go to Destination, and pick a folder that does not have corresponding files, meaning that the files in the Windows directory in this case are not included in that Dell folder. So up here it says restore an entire volume. I'm going to click OK. Retrospect warns me, really restore to the Windows directory, replacing all contents. What this means is if I were to start this restore, Retrospect would actually replace the contents of my Windows directory with the contents of the Dell folder. And this tends to be a very dangerous operation and not something you want to do. One of the main purposes of this demonstration is to look at the files chosen window. And what we see here is Retrospect reports that we've selected 172 files and 10,000 files are going to be overwritten. The reason is that when you do a restore entire contents or replace all contents, Retrospect looks at the destination folder, compares it against the source, and if there's things in the destination that are not supposed to be there, it's going to replace them. Meaning that Retrospect's goal is to make the destination 100% identical to the source drive or the source folder. So if I were to execute this restore, it's going to delete the contents of that destination folder and replace it with the contents of the actual Dell folder, which can be a fairly dangerous operation. Now, there's another advantage of this, and that is that if I were to change my destination to this Dell folder, and click OK, then what we're going to see is that Retrospect says that we've selected 172 files and 172 files are already copied and nothing needs to be replaced. I also have the ability to revert a folder back to the way it was originally. So in this example what I can do is I can go to my source folder and I can choose an older version of my Dell folder. Back at the time when I created this prior backup there was fewer files in the folder. So when I click OK here, Retrospect actually reports that I've selected 171 files. A seven, 171 files appear already copied. One other file will be overwritten. The reason for that is that there's a file in the folder on the hard drive right now that does not exist in the snapshot. And so Retrospect's goal is to delete any extra files that aren't supposed to be there and replace them with the most current versions of those files.